have to pull up here. Well, it doesn't get any better than this. It's a beautiful, cool, crisp, sunny autumn day. I'm up on a hilltop with Bob Black, and we're looking down at your orchard. This is the Catoctin Mountain Orchard, and it's just gorgeous. Now, this has been in your family for how long? Since 1961. Wow, and we're just a little bit east of Thurmont. And right down there, that would be Route 15. Right, heading the, to Gettysburg. That's right, the, uh, the pathway of the Civil War. As my father's one rule always was, handle these things like eggs, and you would mm -hmm. never drop an egg, so. How many acres do we have here? We've got 100 acres of all kinds of tree fruit and berries. The main crops are apples and peaches. Now what are these pretty babies right here? These happen to be Pink Lady, which oh, is really gorgeous. kind of a, a newer apple over the last several years. I think that apples have trends, that, that they're... There's a buzz around a certain apple. Oh yeah, and right now, I don't have to say anything but Honeycrisp, and everybody knows Honeycrisp. And people wonder why it costs so much. So why is that apple so expensive? It's probably one of the most difficult apples for us to grow. If I had to ask you to name one good all-purpose apple, good for eating, good for baking, could you do that? Golden Delicious has always been still a good old standby apple for eating, for pan-fried apples, whatever you want to do, sauce, baked apples. How do you decide on the ones that you want to work with? We well, say we sell noisy apples that, that crunch and make lots of noise. Indeed, Bob has a passion for apples and for growing just about anything. I've been on many farms, but I have never seen kale like Bob's. Bob, I can't believe this is kale because it's so tall. This is some of the tallest kale I've ever grown. We've mm -hmm. added a lot more compost to it, and it's just unbelievable with the season. People making kale chips is what our demand is now. Right. It's incredible. You're gonna show me some cold storage here, huh? Oh yeah. Wow, chilly in here. Has to be for apples. You gotta uh -huh. keep it cool. It's about 33, 34 degrees right now. On one point, Bob is adamant, if you want your apples to last, keep them in the fridge, in plastic. This is the Fuji, and this is a beautiful apple. It's a wonderful apple. I mean, it's very versatile. It actually keeps better probably than most any of the apples we grow. It gives off less ethylene, and ethylene is that ripening gas that, like I say, you comes off of any of the fruit. And because of that, it just keeps wonderfully crisp and juicy also, but you still gotta remember when you do it, don't put them in the bowl, put them in the fridge in the plastic bag okay. and they'll keep great. Well, I like having them in the bowl because they look nice. Oh yeah, there. you can do it just to show people you got the apples and tell them to eat them right away. Well, eat them right away. Bob is a big supporter of the Buy Local movement and he landed a big local contract thanks to his grandkids. Because when I was going to visit my grandchildren at the cafeteria or eat lunch with them, I seen kids in there eating Red Delicious from the West Coast. Two bites out of it and it went in the trash and I knew that they were not good apples at that point. Now, all Frederick County schools serve up Bob's prized apples. The kids comment to me often that the apples taste so great and they want to know how they're grown. And I tell them to come out here and Bob will give them a lesson in how apples are grown. So if you saw it growing out there, you can buy it right in here. It's a great little market. Well, this is an absolute picture of temptation. It's the pie counter here at Catoctin Mountain Orchards, and they've got so many different things. Yeah, how about a four berry? Oh my goodness, with a lattice Lots crust. Of berries. Oh my lord, look at that. Let's give this a try. <laughs> oh my goodness. For the local buy, I'm Al Spoiler. Thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest. We hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. To learn more about our show and watch full episodes, check out mpt.org farm or just click the link in the description.